third time in the last year and a half, Bellhaven Mayor Adam O'Neill is off for another long walk. He's trying to bring attention to Bungo Hospital. After walking to Washington, D.C. twice, he's now on his way to Raleigh. WNCT's Josh Birch reports from Bellhaven. Although the walk from Bellhaven to Raleigh is much shorter than the walk to D.C., Bellhaven Mayor Adam O'Neill says this is just as important in their fight to reopen Pungo Hospital. Another long walk. That's what we have to do to get to where we need to go. It's become a familiar sight in Bellhaven. Mayor Adam O'Neill leading a group of walkers to raise awareness about the closure of Vidant Pungo Hospital. This time, Mayor O'Neill is trying to get the attention of folks in the state capitol. The governor can fix our problem with one letter. So we're going up to show our determination, to show our resolve, and to hopefully get the governor to see how wrong it is to get in the way of us opening up our hospital. The walk surrounds the certificate of need, or CON issue, which the state requires before a new medical facility can open up. The CON law was intended to save the state money by stopping medical facilities from opening up that weren't necessary. But those walking say it's outdated. It concentrated medical care with some really big providers. It elbowed out the small guy and the small providers. It is anti-competitive. Commissioner Hood Richardson says he supports reopening Pungo Hospital and thinks it could succeed if managed correctly. Okay. Civil rights activist Bob Zellner is also walking. He says he's surprised Governor McCrory hasn't answered the request for a meeting. If you can't talk to us and come out of your walled uh, uh, castle there and talk to us, what are you about? Are you about the people's business or not? What we need is fairness. And if a community has the money and the will to open their hospital, we should be able to open it. Now, Mayor O'Neill says that this walk had nothing to do with the upcoming election. They're expected to be in Raleigh next Wednesday. In Bellhaven, Josh Birch, 9 on your side. The walkers will cover about 15 miles each day. Commissioner Richardson says he'll leave the walk briefly to attend Thursday night's scheduled commissioner's meeting.